Hello YouTube friends, it's been a while, but I wanna jump right into this project and this is going to be our October's journal quilt block of the month. And I didn't wanna to be too literal as far as doing a pumpkin or something Halloween-y or whatever. We're gonna go ahead and do something that's um, just doing half square triangles here. And I am just using my scrap fabrics that are already cut into two inch squares. And I'm going to go ahead and just uh, make that work for this project. So I like this one just because, you know, if you're looking at it, um, it does kind of have a little pumpkin shape to it when you follow the outline of the um, pumpkin color. So I don't know if that's trying too hard. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started on this. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you enjoy this project, also I hope you give it a thumbs up. So let's get started on this and I'll see you on the other side. My goal for this project was to use pre-cut squares that I had made from scrap fabric from other projects. And so this is the array of colors that I have put together. I wanted to do black and you can see this was a mini mouse fabric here and it had little tiny pink bows but they're on the edges. I think my quarter inch seam allowances should pretty much encompass those. So what I have here for my fabric cuts, all of these are two inch squares. I have two white on white, two check, six of the pumpkin color, four of the black, and two of the gray. The way that I'm going to combine those is I'm going to do half square triangles for this entire project. And the combinations I will be doing is I'm going to make half square triangles with the black or the check and the white. Get that down where you can see it. With the pumpkin color, I'm gonna do four pumpkin with the four black, and then two pumpkin with two gray. And I'm going to be doing the half square triangle method where you put two squares together, right sides together. If you need to, draw a line from corner to corner, and then sew a quarter inch seam away from the line on each side of the line. And I'll show you at the sewing machine, but that's how I'm gonna do each of these. I'm gonna do comparing up with each of these colors and making half square triangles. So like I said, you can draw a line from corner to corner and then sew one quarter inch away from, from that line on each side. I have right here a seam guide from Riley Blake. It's called A Seam So Easy. And this works great, you don't have to draw any lines. And all I do on this one, you can see there's three lines right here. And I'm gonna run my, tr my point right along this line and I just follow it on the back end as well. And that way I'm sewing a quarter inch of away from the center. And I'm gonna chain sew these and then when I'm done chaining one side, I'll turn them all around and follow on this side. And so I'm getting two seams from a quarter inch away from that center line. I am using all-purpose thread top and bottom. My color is gray in both. And then I'm using a 9014 sewing needle. It's using a 2.5 stitch length. You could decrease it a little bit if you want to, if you feel safer, because of the fact that um, these are smaller. So all my pieces, I'm going to do the other side, and again, a quarter inch away from the center line.
pressing all of my triangles with the seam allowances to the dark side. And in this instance, I'm just going to consider anything that is not pumpkin colored to be the dark side. I've pressed all my squares, and now what I'm going to do, I'm going to trim them all down to a um, one and a half inch square. And what I do with my ruler is I take my 45 degree angle, run that along my seam, making sure I have fabric hanging over the one and a half inch mark on both sides. So I trim the right and the top. And I get those moved over. Then I'm gonna turn my piece so I can do the opposite ones. Get this back in frame here. Doing the same thing, I'm gonna rent, get my 45 along my seam allowance, but this time I'm also gonna be lining up the one and a half inch mark along this edge and this edge. And then that shows me where I have to trim. Doing it like this, you're going to get really nice, precise squares. And there I have my first half square triangle trimmed down to one and a half inches. Squares have been trimmed and now it is time to piece all the squares together. So what I will do is I will just uh, take this like this to my sewing machine and I will sew this row together by overlapping and sewing down this seam here and then I'll do the same for this side just flip that over and sew it down that seam and once I get those all done then I will sew my rows together. together rows one and two and then three to four and now I'm going to go ahead and sew those together rows two and three together and then all I have to do then is just sew the seams that go across a batting square five inches square and I've centered my block on that leaving about a quarter of an inch all the way around now if you want your quilt block to finish out at five inches you would need to cut all your squares before you do your half square triangles you would need to cut all your squares at two and a quarter inches but since I already had two inch blocks or excuse me two inch squares already cut up in my my scrap fabric that's what I ended up using. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and sew black binding onto this, and I'm going to be sewing it on a quarter inch of, away from the fabric edge. And then it'll wrap around and make a frame around this piece. And I just so you know, I do not have a backing fabric on this. I don't need it because this is for our um, quilt block journal, it's, it's not, it's already gonna have a backing with something else when we get, once we get done with the whole um, one year project. So I'm gonna go ahead now and go sew the binding onto this piece.
is our completed square for the month of October. I hope you enjoy that and I really hope you give it a try. I hope you all are also happy and healthy and until next time, have a great one. Bye for now. Thank you.